Today we're going to be creating a video game case with PS2 like graphics. This case can also be done for a trading card and with that being said we're going to try to take as minimal amount of steps as we possibly can. You're going to be doing some light modeling and some light UV work so without ado let's just dive straight on in. Alright so diving right on in we're going to click general <coughs> per usual. Um, and let's go ahead and de delete everything that is default uh, by pressing A and X. Go over to your render settings, turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space, reflections. Head over to the your edit tab, open up preferences. Let's go ahead and click animation. And then within default interpolation, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that's set to linear. Once you have that done, you should be good to go. So just go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my file as well. So you can just do a lot of quick auto saving. All right, my friend. Now, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to have to open up. We're going to go download some textures. So I'm just going to show you where it's download. I went ahead and just grabbed the Super Smash Bros uh, from the Japanese Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and just have these textures linked for you if it's in a Dropbox or something to make it super simple. What I did next was we're going to go ahead and focus on the modeling for now. So first things first, bring in a cube. Mm, try to channel your best like video game case. If you have one, I suggest probably just having it on your desk. It'll just help out with guiding you, but you can also follow me. So what I like to do with this case, first thing I did was I played with the scale of the Y axis. So I drag it in quite a bit. I hold shift on here, big enough to hold a video game. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. The switch cases are kind of small. And then I scaled it on the X axis. You want it to be pretty vertical to say the least. And after you have that, okay, one more time, scale them on the Y axis again. So that's S and Y to the Y, S and X. So that's scaling it, then locking it to the X or Y axis. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and let's cut it in a little bit more. I think right about there is okay. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is come here, uh, Let's not play around with the bevel too much yet. Actually, let's go ahead and bevel it. So click this blue wrench, add modifier, bevel. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretty much, I'm gonna add four segments to mine. I'm just gonna kind of leave it as is. Uh, less segments is kind of always better, in my opinion, when it comes down to making this stuff. You get up the amount. Or you could just bring it down. I'm going to bring mine down to about 0 0.3. I think that's okay. Now, <clears throat> the next step is we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> there's this little insert that we have. Let's turn off the bevel actually for right now so we can do this modeling. There's this little insert that we have within these switch games, right? It's kind of like on the side. <clears throat> what I'm going to go ahead and do is press tab, enter edit mode, press three to select the face. You're going to press I to in inset. And we're just going to go ahead and just like inset a little section. And what you're going to do is now press E and bring it in a little bit. And then you can kind of see now we have that little Kind of inset. Now let's turn back on our bevel and you'll see now it's beveled that inside part for us as well. So that's a huge part that we kind of have done now in terms of the modeling. Now it's, we're going to come back if the textures don't work out, but for now let's start playing with the materials. <clears throat> so before we do anything with the UVs, I'm going to go ahead and Create a base material. I'm going to call it um, the plastic. 
So this is our plastic base. I'm in EV right now. What I like to do is I turned up my transmission quite a bit, brought down the roughness a little bit to about 0 0.2, I think is okay. Uh, no metallic, and we can make it a little bit, a little wider. Let's bring up the roughness a little bit actually, 0 0.4. So think of this as the part that lies beneath the little paper slip that we have. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to show you how to add multiple materials to one object. It's very simple. So we're going to make the side part red because typically there's a Nintendo logo on that side part. So we're going to go ahead and within the little red globe on our right hand menu, click the plus icon to add a new material slot. Click new for a new material. I'm going to call this red zone and then if we colored it red when you click assign when you're in edit mode you have to be in edit mode by the way be in edit mode select the face that you want to change the material so i'm going to select my little side click red zone and when you click assign boom look at that it's there <clears throat> and that's pretty much <clears throat> how you can set that one up Okay, so now we have our little red part. Um, we'll deal with the Nintendo logo later, but for now, let's just go ahead and leave that alone. So let's play with some UV, some UV fun now. So we're gonna head over to UV editing. I'm gonna keep it super simple for you guys. I don't wanna I have to start customizing stuff. So within UV editing, let's go back to shading. And we are gonna have to customize some stuff. So you're gonna right click and just vertical split. And I'm gonna make this one UV editor. And then we're gonna create a new material and I'm gonna call it front game case. Eventually we're gonna need the back as well, but let's just focus on this for now. So what you're gonna do is within the image that you downloaded, or a folder on your computer, you're gonna go ahead and just click and drag over the game case image file. And then you're gonna, once you have that in Blender within your materials editor, you're just gonna connect the color. And you're also gonna connect the alpha. Let's just go ahead and do that to save us some time. Make sure it's just clipped and leave it as flat. Okay. Now you'll see right now within our UV editor, you, once you have your face selected, uh oh, I made a mistake then. I just realized I attached that to my plastic file. Front game case. Make sure you have it selected with your front game case. Connect the base color to the alpha. Assign that. <clears throat> and you'll see within the UV editor, everything is kind of lopsided. With the face that you have selected, <clears throat> let's go ahead and click and press R to rotate and you just want to make sure that everything is kind of straight so you can kind of see here the face is looking right go ahead and drag it over in one corner make sure it's in vertex select mode and then select click G and X drag it over make sure it's super clean here G and Y drag it down now you see there's a little bit of some edges that might need to be kind of filled oh, it looks like it also needs to be flipped just right click and mirror X if you're still having an issue. And what I like to do, um, you can see some of our side parts that still need to be kind of like fixed here. What you could do is cheat it a little bit. I did that with my Instagram post actually. Just kind of cheated it by slapping in some of that plastic that's in the image. 
you can kind of see it kind of makes it a little bit easier to just like spoof because you get that little texture I think that's okay if you wanted to do it quote unquote properly which you could do actually we'll go ahead and just use this plastic texture actually so you see this little side this this like texture piece I'm gonna play around with something my friend to make it a little bit more like so let's go ahead and then our plastic I'm gonna show you a little cheat code bring in our front again all right let's connect it and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and take our UV map and we're just gonna dial it right on in to that plastic part Flip. turn down the transmission make sure that just in that plastic and you can kind of see now we have okay once you pretty much set up <clears throat> all that little plastic layer what you'll do next is create the back of your game case material <clears throat> and if you if you feel like you got it at this point I think you would kind of be like okay I think I know what to do Micah so what we're gonna do is we're pretty much gonna pull in our back connect the colors to the alpha make sure we have the face selected on the back Let's just go ahead and rotate this to make sure that everything is correct. Looking right. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and grab each one of our, each of these ends. Bring them in. And then take a look. It looks like we need a bit of <clears throat> Hmm. Looks like we need a bit of the same kind of like plastic section. You might run into that issue if the image is not fully kind of there. And I, I got an idea how we can get that kind of out. So what you can do now is make a, a cut, split cut. You just kind of cut right here. Select this face. And just assign the plastic to that. It's gonna look a little janky, but so that's Control R. And just drag it on down close to the bottom. Make sure face select and assign that plastic again. You'll kind of get a kind of busted look, but we have our model. So let's go back to layout. You can material preview you can see now we've kind of pretty much modeled it and now it's time to do a nice little animation so save again animation part my friend is the easiest part that we're gonna do for today so what I like to do is just like tilt it a little bit so let's tilt it on our X by like negative five and then we're gonna just pretty much go ahead and enter the single keyframe our Z 360 into another one make sure you start at zero and you'll see we pretty much get this nice little even rotation here we bring our camera in pretty much just make sure you press down tilde press left and you'll be okay now let's vertical split bring this up a little bit 
let's go into our details. I'm gonna do the set of stuff for Instagram and the region and bring it in a little bit. Oops. All right, camera, viewport display, turn that up, centered. So we can kind of see what's going on here. It's not a perfect loop anymore. You know what, my friends, let's go ahead and just scratch that X animation, <laughs> that flip for now. Hey, you boy. I actually do have a clue. I don't have a clue on how to get that one to work right now. It's just my point. But if anyone has an idea in the comments, feel free to drop it. You know, this is a small community. Okay. So the best way to check to see if it's looping is just go from zero to the last frame. And it looks like it's looping for us. But we want to fix our camera. We want our camera to be somewhere. So hold on tilde and press front. It may be the same for you, it may not, but you'll figure out whichever side that is your side. You're gonna want that to spawn the camera in just so you don't have to do too much finagling when it comes down to um, setting up the composition. I'm just gonna bring mine in a little bit. Let's see. Bring it out a little bit more. Now the lighting is super easy to set up. You can see it rendered. It's kind of dark. What I did was I just played around and brought in an HDRI. So you could download those from HDRI Hayu. I think it's called Polyon Haven now. I'm not too familiar. But I brought in I specifically think like a nice little green like pasture kind of vibe is one of the best ones in my opinion. So bring in an HDRI here. Now your next step will be bringing in some compositing nodes, which is super simple here. So first just make sure you have set up on where this is going because it's gonna be hard to preview this make sure it's set up perpetually lost this I know this has been kind of a jumble but I'm gonna review a lot of stuff at the end of this all just to the TLDR conversion for you all viewer connect this what I did was I pretty much added a reroute by the way Press Shift A and bring that in. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, press F12 to so just render a still image so we can get a view. And I'm gonna show you the very, very simple way on pixelating your work. Scale, scale. Let's just go ahead and drag these out. Pixelate. Bring this down a lot. Bring this up. What I also like to do is bring in a lens distortion at this point. Lens distortion a little bit, make a little bit of jitter. And then we're gonna just make sure that it looks like there's a lot of empty space. And you're gonna bring, you're gonna play with the values depending on the level of severity. And you're going to see here at this point, we pretty much have it set up um, and rendered. 
what I would do now if you're wondering okay Micah this is great I would love to just have it as a transparent kind of setup I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that but if you're cool with this from this point you click render render animation and it's gonna be wherever you set it up just make sure it's set up for mp4 and follow these settings below but for my friends that want to set this up in, in quick time to make it um, completely transparent. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate my view. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. Okay. So for encoding, make sure it's set to QuickTime, video codec, QuickTime, turn on RGBA, head over to your render engine settings, go down, click open film, transparent. Now if you click this now, one thing you got to turn off now is that lens distortion if you want it to be fully transparent because that lens distortion brings in a level of like texture and all this stuff that's behind it and I know you don't want that. So you click F12, you'll see, cool, it's still looking quite slick and transparent and you render the animation. So if you click this, you'll see it's a little transparent video game icon. And that's it, my friend. So. What I'll do, I know there was a lot. I know it's been a while since I did a tutorial. It's been a few weeks. Um, so if you follow me on TikTok uh, or Instagram or anything like that, I will be making a very concise version of this and it'll be very fast. And I'm sure if you've watched this already, you still have questions, this version will be like, you'll get down to it. But if you still have questions and concerns, um, feel free to, Join the Discord. I'll go ahead and leave a link below, um, or DM me, and I'll be hope I'll be hopefully available <laughs> to answer any of those questions and help you along the way. But thank you once again. Um, a lot of gratitude for everyone coming in. I am a very small YouTube channel, and every inch of support helps me out and it gives me a lot of positive validation. So if you feel called to, feel free to like the video. Uh, leave a comment on what part intrigued you or feel free to link or I think you can link Let me know if you finish it and um, I hope to see you again. So peace out and have a great day